Oh, now we're recording. <laughs> Just had a whole conversation with you, wasn't recording. Hi friends, welcome to my channel and to Home Renovations Day. We don't know. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we don't know. <laughs> We're gonna start today off with a haul and then I've gotta go back out, get a couple more things and then we're gonna walk around, see what I've done. I'm expecting my niece's husband to come over to help me figure out how I'm gonna move my appliances on floor day. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the haul. So, I got a four volt cordless screwdriver because my drill is just killing my hands, it's too heavy. I got a little apron because I keep setting down all of my little pieces and parts and tools and I don't know where they are so I just grabbed a $2 apron, throw them in the pockets. And then I got a wire stripper because I'm doing it the not the way you should not do it. You should use a wire stripper. So I got one, six bucks. I think he was $10.88, six bucks, $1.97. Then I went um, and got a Mr. Rooter Plumbing. This is the washing machine hot and cold fill hose. Um, and it's a five foot length. And I got a new dryer power cord and a steam dryer installation kit. And then I went over to Ace Hardware and I got a flexible aluminum duct, five feet, it's four inches in diameter. Why did you get all that? Because I'm getting new washers and dryers. My washer is probably 14 years old. Um, I mean, it still works. But the fact that I have to get a stool, climb in there to get the stuff at the... I, we're over that. So Best Buy actually had a great sale going on for a set for like um, $1,500. And um, it's a really nice set. So, <laughs> made me start thinking... I'm going to do the pickup haul away of these old machines and have them install the new machines and the only way Best Buy will do it is if you get all new wires and hoses and all that, fine, okay? Um, but I was thinking while my sis, niece's, while my niece's husband is here, if we could pull these out and get them into this room, maybe I can just scoot them around or whatever, but then I could get in there, take this horrible wire shelving down, everything off the floors. Then I found a beautiful peel and stick wallpaper that I wanted to put on this back wall and then paint this wall, the ceiling, and this wall. And then and I might put this back, I don't know yet, but instead of having a wire, I wanted to get some nice wooden shelves where I could display decor and have um, places for storage, like extra toilet paper, light bulbs, paper towels, things like that. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to go back out and purchase the peel and stick wallpaper and the paint. And I need to do that in about one hour before he gets here and helps me to move all of these things. I, I'm, 
I just have a little bit of a wet towel in here to run what's been sitting in here for about two weeks. <laughs> uh, okay. Great. See you soon. All right, here it is. The paint color that I chose was uh, Sherwin Williams Avenue Tan. It's a deep tan with green undertones. The emerald uh, line is on sale, 30% off, so I got it for like 25 bucks, and it's in the satin. And then at Walmart, I picked up this beautiful peel and stick wallpaper that I just thought is so pretty with the different florals and all the different colors. And you see that tan that's in that flower. It's kind of mimicking this tan. So, yeah, that's going to be really, really pretty. The last thing I would need to do is get a light in there. And then I'm going to love doing laundry. <laughs> Hi, friends. Um, I haven't picked up the camera today because I just wanted to finish all of the electrics. Um, so all of the light switches have been switched out. And um, I've done a few outlets, not many. Those will come later. I just wanted to get these wall switches done. So all of the switches in my house now are this rocker style. These boards have been shellacked. They are ready for a layer of paint. So I'm going to do that. While that dries, I'm going to go over to here and put a layer of um, Varathane on this. Let that dry. That dries pretty quickly. So while that's drying, um, I'll probably just, you know, clean up because I've just got stuff everywhere. Sanding blocks, cleaners, bowls of water for the dog, shoes, socks, cat, stuff everywhere. I've got to take care of dishes. I just, you know, my house is a wreck because I took everything off of the walls and then I keep bringing stuff in this house for the next project. I need to do things like clean up all my dust, um, just trash on the floor. It's a, it's a hot mess over here, y'all, but it's going to be beautiful when it's done. Uh, let me take you upstairs. So here's the bedroom. We have my fan that's beside my bed, the light, and the fan that's above my head. We have this bathroom, which has the on-off here. Then we have the fan. Then we have the little light. Okay. Um, ow! I'm fine. My foot is very sore, very bruised. Uh, could have could have crushed a couple of little bones. We don't know. We just keep going. Um, light. <laughs> this one gave me a hard time. That's where I learned all about three-way switches. This is for the attic. The attic works. And today I finished my room, my bathroom, that bathroom, and this bedroom. It's got a fan and a light, so you have light or oh, crap. Light, okay. <laughs> I'm like confused because this one, the light is up top and the fan is at the bottom. And in the other room, the light is at the bottom and the fan is at the top. <laughs> it's just so fun. So there's the light. That's the fan. That's the light. I'm keeping the fan on to. So that's what I've been doing all day 
long, running back and forth to Home Depot to get gang plates, to get switches. Um, I ran to Walmart to get parts for my new washer and dryer that will be here on the 11th, um, which is the day after the floors. And so I'm going to have them keep it out away from the wall and that's when I'll get in and paint and paper that um, area but here's my paint job up here focus I don't know if you can see it but the cat's already scratched right there and there but I haven't painted that and up here so I don't know if I should put like a piece of cardboard or something up here to what do I do um, so that's about all I've done today. What I'm doing now is um, I'm going to polyurethane five boards, paint four boards, maybe sand this and do a second coat and then by then that will be ready for a second coat and in the morning I can give that a third coat and then move these over to get all three coats and just keep doing that um, but that's all I've got going on today so I'll come back tomorrow and let you know what I've got going on. Here's a bit of an update. <laughs> I was supposed to pack, but you know, I ended up putting a coat on these two doors. And yeah, we've got a big project coming up because really, let me just explain my crazy thought. It's not going to take me very long at all to pack up this room. It looks like a lot, but I've already moved most of the clothes over to my um, closet. I'm going to move the rest of them. All of this can go into the attic. And anything up here, I'm just going to straighten it up and make sure I've filled each one of these bins and then just stack them with whatever I have in here. Um, I have florals in these drawers. I think I'm just going to take that out and, you know, put it in those bins. My weight stuff, um, I should be able to, you know, just put it up in the attic. Um, this desk... I want to get rid of. The reason why is because A, it takes up a lot of space. B, I'd like to get a just a one, you know, single um, desk that I can sit at and not have all of this extra. It was nice to store paper there, whatever, but then I realized I could take one of my cubes and put it under there, you know. So, I, I just don't think this room is going to take me long. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is, like I did yesterday, probably take everything off of this, put it on the sofa for now, break apart this desk, put it in my car, take it to the dump, then take that extra printer... And um, I have some drawers, these drawers, these shelves. There's some drawers back there. They're all going to the Goodwill. So I want to make a dump run, a Goodwill run. Today is the day that I need to do that. So um, <laughs> I, have, I have lots of things I want to do. I need to figure out priorities. <sighs> The things I really want to do are not priority. <laughs> the thing I really want to do is get into my laundry room, take down the wire shelf, take down that other shelf, patch all the holes, 
pull out the washer and dryer, the paints, the stuff, wipe down all the walls, vacuum and mop the floors, paint, wallpaper, be done. If I do that, that's probably an all-day job, or most of the day job, which means that if I come home from work tomorrow and have to pack, say, this room, can I get to the dump by 7? Most likely not. So I think what I'm going to do is, on my last full day, do the stuff I need to do, and then when I come home from work, that's when I'll pull out the washer dryer, stuff like that, and paint and wallpaper. But I think I need to make the most of my time and do what I need to do. <laughs> Thanks for helping me make that decision.